Hello everybody and welcome to Hearts of Iron 4. Today we play a mod for Italy, though at least on the select screen Italy looks pretty normal. They're apparently very much so not normal though in this mod. Much more scary than normal Italy, which is a hard feat in of itself with this friendly face leading the country. And this was not the first video I was planning on making. I was trying to play Nationals China in the Iron Curtain mod because after failing to win several times a few months months back and saying that it was impossible, a ton of people told me it was possible, and I tried again maybe 30, 40 times, and I still think it's impossible, but if you have a strategy to win as nationalist China, tell me. I know it was possible a few years ago, but I'm pretty sure it's impossible now. This definitely doesn't look normal. I guess do we just do this focus first? I don't know, are there more weird focuses, or is it just the one Weird focus. Benito has had enough. The constant ridicule. Constant failures. People laughing at him. And all these focus tree branches they made to depose him. That's enough. Mussolini will have his victory over Ethiopians assured, whatever it takes. I guess it is kind of sad for Mussolini. He used to always be unopposed, but now there's a million ways to oppose him. I'm not even going to assign the divisions yet because I don't know what the deal with the devil will do. Technically speaking, we hardly need a deal with the devil because winning against Ethiopia is pathetically easy, but Will LARP is actual Italy who is unable to do anything. Though I guess they did historically win, but you, you know what I mean. Wow, look, this is already creepy. This focus lines up with this event by any means necessary, even by means beyond our understanding. Wow, spooky. Deal with the devil. Mussolini was alone in his cabinet late at night. On a desk before him lied old manuscripts and books, some from deep bowels of Italian museums, many from private collections he requisitioned, scripts that may hold secrets to achieving his dreams in these trying times. Suddenly he felt a presence in the room. A tall, slender figure, entirely covered in yellowish cloak, stood before the duce. Who are you? How you? You already know who I am. The intruder responded with a sleek, echoing voice. You have read the text. I am here to fulfill your dreams, to crush all enemies before you. All I demand in return is flesh and blood of humans of your choosing. The creature extended its hand towards Benito. I can afford it. Yeah, yeah, we have a lot of people. A lot of people live in Italy. And Ethiopia gets a minus 90% division organization? Well, wow, now that's something Mussolini could realistically beat without heavy plot armor. You know, it'd be kind of funny if that this is all the mod was. Now that we've done that, the mod just immediately ends. That would be very funny. Though I assume that more happens. Yeah, now there's another focus. I guess, do we do our normal focus tree too? I guess so. But now we're going to slowly start draining our manpower because of, you know, the sacrifices. This was a very stupid deal with the devil. <laughs> we did not need to deal with the devil to win that war, but uh, oh well. I guess we're stuck into this uh, slippery slope now. Devaluate the Italians? And now Mussolini gets on the verge of madness, a very terrible uh, trait. Well, I guess the offensive war stability thing is kind of nice. Now our country will be more stable in an offensive war than a defensive war at peace. Very fun. Uh. <laughs> Um, this isn't really the intended outcome. Uh, okay, thank you. That was, that was great. At least we had a successful industrialization program. That's good. That's better than this. I'll see he was like puking black ink too on the map, assessing the chaos. Okay, we have new cabinet ministers now. Very, very nice. Yeah, let's do this, focus. Clean up the continental mess. That's very important because this is, this is the worst. You know, honestly, this is the real horror of the Mod. The real horror of the mod isn't the creepy events and the devil, it's the border guard. How is the Polish Civil War ever going to end? There was an event that gave the Soviets this. Oh. I guess that solves the problem. Wow, the AI is actually smart enough to release a, a puppet state in territory that they have no ports in. I almost don't believe it. I almost think that the mod is making them do that through some hidden events or something, because that's just crazy if the AI is actually smart enough to do it that themselves. Wait, so we can get bunkers and railroads and all this land, or we can core it all. I don't know if we should core it all. Maybe we should uh, conquer more before we do that focus. I'm, I'm not 
sure. Either way, we're going to declare on France. We don't have more divisions than them, but their divisions are poorly placed, and if we take Paris and Calais, they should capitulate. Now we can get rid of the border gore. Maybe this mod isn't so scary. And Wilhelm returns to whatever this is. <laughs> the Nightmare German Empire. And now we'll do the focus Mare Monstrum. Again, most realistic Italy mod, probably. Turkey presses the Hate issue. Yeah, I don't think we're going to give it to them. While a lot of nations are lend leasing Greece, they must really want to stop the devil. I assume the devil is quite a uniting factor for the free nations of the world right now. This would all be pretty traumatic, though I don't really know how secretive it still is. It probably can't be that secret considering what happened to Europe. Also, we did that focus, so now we have cores on everything we currently own in Europe. Not in Africa, but in Europe, and that is still quite a lot of territory. Like, a, a lot of territory. We could have waited even longer, but I assume we can form the Roman Empire and just get more cores anyway later. One of our focuses must have made Malta and Cyprus independent, so now we can just invade them ourselves. That's interesting. It's kind of weird that we didn't just annex them, but I guess it gives us more gameplay content to have to do these naval invasions. Nice, and we started a rebellion in Egypt and Sudan, and as long as they survive for, I guess, 35 days, then we can take them for ourselves. Never mind, so what happened is they just wipe people peace with Britain and then we get Wargles to invade them. Great, yes. Yeah, so we'll finish what Mosley can't do. British Empire requests alliance. You know, I guess sure, why not? I'm not gonna join any of the wars or call them into any wars though, probably. And if there is an opportunity to attack them, I'm going to immediately leave their faction. I mean, the map looks better now, but there's still a lot of terrible border gore. Germany's looking okay. I think it, we should really consider this. This is quite pretty. In a speech before the House of Congress, Alf Landon has announced that his government remains committed to the Monroe Doctrine. I don't know why I'm reading this event. It's one from Vanilla. We have like a ton of artillery attack plus national spirits. Our artillery is godlike. Yeah, I feel like we should just put a ton of artillery in our divisions. Okay, Mussolini is crazy. Oh no, confrontation. Oh no, <laughs> not again. Well, I guess that's not the end. Mussolini dies, Mussolini is reborn. Hive mind command. You know, I'm just gonna be honest for a second. The Mussolini Eldritch horror mod is the last place I thought I would see a Tower of Malta reference. Okay, we have to do the Tower of Malta focus. Okay, Mussolini keeps dying and being reborn every day. Wait, it's the Pope? Wait, what? Just as Victor Emmanuel was strapped to the sacrificial altar, and Benito himself was raising up the dagger aimed at the old man's heart. The doors of the Italian Senate burst open. Through them, the Pope himself entered. Your wickedness comes to an end, Antichrist. Yeah, that that didn't work. I guess we'll get war goals against Poland, Spain, and the Netherlands. And we got a very much not overpowered national sphere that gives us plus 500% recruitable population. Though I don't really know if that's doing anything right now. Oh well. It's time we fight Germany and Wilhelm III. This shouldn't be too difficult. Well, maybe it will be. It looks like they're attacking into us a little bit, but I'm not necessarily worried. Okay, we did the thing to America too. I just hope that Britain moves divisions into here so then we can join the war and things won't be as bad. Okay, now we're invading the US and the Soviet Union at the same time. The US is being attacked by the UK and the Soviets are being attacked by Japan, so we're fine to do both at once. And I guess we can also train a ton of new divisions too, just in case. 2040 with mechanism. Yeah, sure. And just an infinite amount of normal infantry, or I guess we barely don't have enough manpower for that. And we will take over the allies from Britain too, and then maybe kick them out and conquer them at some later points. And now we're getting shape-shifting commissars. Yeah, that'll be very useful, I, I, I assume. Also, this focus is a little messed up. This ending of the focus tree might be a work in progress, if I had to guess. Anyways, that's the end of things for today. This was a really fun mod. I enjoyed it and there's a lot of good mechanics in the mod. It's unfortunate that some of the focus icon art isn't completely finished and the ending of the focus tree is really weird and actually just broken in some places, but overall it's very interesting and there is some complex stuff going on. It was fun. I hope to play more mods like it in the future. And <laughs>